you be my leading lady? <sighs> hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Tomodachi Life. Last time, Mac and Midna moved in, I made friends with Finn the Human, and Princess Bubblegum politely rejected the party man's crush. Today we're going to check out what's going on with the residents, and we're going to finish up with another song. It's been a little while since we've had a song, so I figured that would be a good way to end the episode. I do want to see what the news is on the island, but it looks like a few people want to make some friends. Oh man, I've been neglecting some of these guys. We have like 73 villagers, so it's hard to keep track of all of them. <laughs> that would be good. I think you guys could hang out and party. I could see Kool-Aid Man going to one of DJ KK's like raves and just dancing and smashing through walls and stuff. There he is, he's so lonely, he's staring at the door, just waiting for somebody to make friends with him. And here he comes. Oh, he opened the door, like, into him. It almost looked like it would smack him in the face. Alright, using his little puppy paws to open the door. It's alright, he's got fingers, I guess. He's in the Animal Crossing world. <laughs> Even though they're animals, they can all, like, open doors and do stuff. Kool-Aid Man's little weird sunglasses mouth, it just looks like he's kind of, like, hanging them off of his face or something weird. Anyways, a lot of them look a lot better when you, like, look on them like from the front now. you get to the side and like the sunglasses and different stuff pops off and it's weird but we love them anyways all right I want you Ooh, to have we this. got a gift i always forget that they give us a gift when they make friendships and stuff another bath set that's a nice way to cheer people up so we can use that on somebody and then someone else wants was it garfield yeah garfield wants to make friends i feel like garfield might have a few friends someone was telling me that if you hit l and r you can actually see so yeah he's friends with the party man that's good, at least the party man has a friend after his rejection last time. Oh, uh, Marceline. Okay, cool. I could see them getting... Like, Marceline can be a little... Like, she's she's a loner. Let's do something funny. Yeah. She's a loner. I could see her getting kind of dark because she's a vampire. And Garfield's just, you know, always just kind of bummed out if he's not getting his lasagna and stuff. Look how happy she looks, though, <laughs> with her little fangs. All right, they can make friends, I think. Garfield reminds me of Halloween a little bit because he's orange and black. And Marceline's a vampire demon, so that works out perfectly, <laughs> I guess. Marceline needs a new interior. She's got kind of like pink lavendery walls. They don't seem like they would suit her very much. She needs something cooler, more rockish. All right. So yeah, I want to go check out the breaking news. I always, I like to uh, do that first, but I don't want to miss any opportunities for these guys to make friends and maybe fall in love. Garfield and Marceline, possible love connection there. <laughs> that would be weird. Garfield's about to level up here again. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe we can give him something good. What did we... Ooh, it's gonna give us something good here, hopefully, as well. Let's see. What could we do? I'm gonna give Garfield a scale, just because, you know, he's always tipping the scales. He's a little overweight kitty, and he needs to watch his weight so that he doesn't, like, I want you die prematurely. <laughs> Garfield's been around for, like, so many decades. There we go. Disposable camera. He's fine. But yeah, you don't want to have an overweight pet in real life. That's not good. Take good care of the old cats and puppies. Alright, so who's grumpy? Isabel. A couple people have some problems. I do want to go see the news, though. Let's do that before we get back into the villager stuff. Looks like there's some events going on as well. What is the news today with Princess Zelda? You're watching me news. We have some shocking news. Oh no. Andre the Giant got himself into a real jam when he slipped and fell into That's a, a pickle big jar. pickle jar. Can fit he Andre was trapped the giant in the in container it. with carrots and gherkins. Not gherkins. Unfortunately, <laughs> Andre the Giant was taken out unhurt with the gherkins after about half a day. Oh my gosh. We have received reports that the carrots are still in the jar. The carrots are going to be sold like Authorities that? Authorities say Andre the Giant will probably smell of pickles for a month. <laughs> Those are some huge jars. We asked some All islanders Slenderman. for their thoughts on the matter. What's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling it would end up this way. <laughs> I told him, watching. I told him, bro, don't play around those pickle jars, you're gonna get gherkined. Alright, poor Andre. He's okay, though. What's going on on the beach? A couple people around. Marceline's walking, she's not burning up or melting. This just reminds me of Card Wars, and I'm playing on the beach levels in Card Wars, and Marceline doesn't even have a hat on that either. Switch costumes Whoa! On anybody. That's cool. But it's like yellow, it's a weird color Welcome. for a witch costume, but I definitely want to buy you. it. Aw, oh, man. I'm trying to think who would wear that. We just talked about Marceline, but she doesn't usually dress up like a witch or anything. It's this yellow. It looks like a raincoat. Ponyo's on the roller coaster. <laughs> Are we going to see it? Yeah, there she goes. She's the only one riding it. There's so many people around. Why is Ponyo the only one going through? Aw, listen to her. Oh, she's going to go down the hill. Here she goes. Oh. <laughs> Ponyo. It's adorable. Is she going to come into the... There she is. There she goes. Okay. Well, I'll let her have fun. Hopefully someone's in control of that thing, and it's not just going around and around. Um, so what else is going on here? We'll do our donation event, get some money, before we go back and help some of those people. I forgot Poe is still in, like, a sweat, 
his little sweatsuit there, his little clothes. Alright, what's going on? Cyclist outfit? That's kind of cool. I could see, like, the Wii Fit trainer wearing that if I add her. Let me buy that. I was thinking about adding her, maybe. Denim dress. Might as well buy a lot of these, because some of them could fit somebody. Poofy rip. Oh, that looks perfect for Peach. She might not like it. We got some new colors for the raincoat. Oh man. Hmm. This actually, like, the blue one kind of looks like it would be better for Zero Suit Samus. Maybe I'll try to give her that, because it's actually the right color. A wild jacket. That's pretty cool. I gotta stop buying everything. Alright, let's go nice check out the day. hats real quick, and then I'll get back into helping people. I need somebody very specific to level up today, because we're gonna do that Welcome. song. A Fez hat, a scary... Oh, that's awesome! It's like a... Oh, that's like a Professor Layton top hat. That's pretty cool. It looks almost exactly like that. The scary mask is like uh, one from the no plays and stuff, I think. That's awesome. There's a little Fez. I don't know who could wear that. We don't have like a Doctor Who or a Nabu or something here to put that on. It's kind of a big Fez. All right, and last, we'll do the interiors. We got the boys, the ooh, industrial. I don't like that. I guess the walls and the seabed. Do I have somebody who's like a C? Oh, Ponyo! We can give that to Ponyo. There we go, perfect. Although Ponyo lives with Sasuke, and if you've seen the movie Ponyo. Anyways, uh, <laughs> go watch it if you haven't. Alright, let's check what out what's going on here. Got a couple people with problems. I kind of want to give Ponyo that. Oh, she's uh, never mind, she's on the roller coaster. Lil Max happy. I guess we should help out the people who have problems. I don't want to neglect them, including Professor Oak. He's a little grump right now, but he's doing his stretches. He's doing his old man workout routine. Like, I know, I'm sorry, buddy. Look over here. Flip you around. There we go. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, okay. That's pretty simple. Let's give him a pork cutlet. All hail the pork cutlet, <laughs> Professor Oak. <laughs> I forgot that that's like a... It's sacred to the people on the island, so we, yeah. He's got all these favorite foods that are like... Oh, the pork cutlet bumped out the bacon there. I was going to say, a lot of his favorite foods are kind of not very healthy for you. Oak needs to eat a little healthier in his old age. Let's help out Peach, and then I'll give her that dress and see if she likes it. I, she kind of has a fitting clothing on, but it looks more like she's going to the beach or something. What's going on? Hope things are okay with you and Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, plain and modest. I guess we can't give her that dress, or she's not going to... Oh, this is kind of... I don't know. That looks like it would also fit her. There's so many things that look like they would fit Peach. Which one do you think she would like better? I'll, I'll give her this one to start, and then if you guys think the other one would look better on her, let me know in the comments, because I, I can always give her one, and even if she doesn't like it, I can switch it out. There we go. She likes that one. I think that's more fitting than the one she had. The cherry one made her look like she had, like, a, she was like a little kid or something. Hmm. I'm going to give Peach this tennis racket. I think I have to give somebody else it to, you know, have them be able to play together, obviously. You need two people to play tennis. But I think if she gets a partner, you know, that fits with Mario Tennis and Mario Golf. We haven't had a Mario Tennis game in a while, I think. Mario Golf, we just got a recent one, but I almost gave her the golf club. Both of those are pretty fitting. Isabel, what's wrong? I know, everybody's just so sad they haven't seen me. I'm just flipping them around. <laughs> she, like, slowly turns all mad. Oh, awesome. Okay, I have a bunch of them. I haven't used them yet, I don't think. Let's see, we got disposable cameras here somewhere. There we go. We'll have two. I feel like I might have given one to somebody. Let's see what she's going to do with it. Oh, did we do this before? I can't remember. Someone we know or something artsy. Let's do someone we know. I want to see who she's going to take a picture of. All right. She's going to go out in the world. And there's that telltale sign of an old-fashioned disposable camera. I really use those that much anymore, I don't think. We got digital cameras a lot of the time. Who is it? It's... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Shaq is... At first, I thought he was trying to push uh, T-Rex in. Why was T-Rex dancing on the fountain? He's silly. Opponent's just shocked in the background. Let's save that one. Velma's just like, what is going on? I just wanted to sit at the fountain. I don't even worry about this stuff. Okay. All right. We saved it in our photo book. I think we can go to the park sometimes. Subtle sadness. Subtle sadness. Perfect 10. Uh, I think sometimes you can go to the park and have the Mies take a picture of you, which would be a little weird. I guess sometime we'll have to do that, though. I think I've heard that they take a bunch of pictures of you and then it, like, picks one. So you guys might be able to see my ugly mug here in a sec. If we go do that, I don't know. It's probably not today. It's at the park and certain days. It looks like everyone's happy. Oh, one more. Midna. We haven't talked to her yet since she's a new resident. Might as well see what she's up to. Hello. 
What's going on? I love being the girl in charge. Yep, she's a little bossy, just like she is in Twilight Princess. I got a strange letter. Someone wants oh no, to <laughs> another room. weird meeting. I don't know who wrote it. Should I go? Yeah, of course. We gotta see, definitely. It's that so last one was so weird. I'm gonna go see what this is all if about. you guys remember, I went up to the roof and Mr. Mime was in disguise and it gave me a weird photo and like... I wonder what's gonna happen this time, if it'll be similar. Oh, who is... <gasps> Gosh, he's so sad, but he's here to, in disguise. He's got glasses and a fake mustache. I thought he already had a mustache. Does he have a second mustache <laughs> or a bigger one? You're fired. <laughs> what? The annoying old party man just fired Midna. What the heck? But he's in disguise. That's bizarre. I didn't even know he was her boss. <laughs> she just got here. She's already been fired. Who on earth was that? <laughs> Well, I must have gained something from such a strange experience. I guess it'll make her a little happier, I hope. There you go. All right. Well, that was bizarre. I think the pl the party man is just taking out his frustration since Bubblegum rejected him on other people. Ponyo's got a cold. Or she's just sneezy. She doesn't have the rain cloud, so maybe she's just sneezy. What's going on, Ponyo? Having a little trouble here? The swimming birds look alike. Haven't seen I you just added week. you. <laughs> I guess it has been a little while. I'd like some new clothes. Something formal would be ideal. Let's see. Do I have anything for her? She could, because she kind of just wears like a little red dress thing in the movie. I don't know if any of... <laughs> some of these clothes would be really funny on her. Yeah, I don't know if any of these really fit. Uh, I don't know. Let's get for the witch outfit. Safari outfit. Crazy super heroine. Viking. <laughs> she just wants some normal clothes. Maybe I'll just give her this little one for now. This is like a little kid would wear this, right? I'd need to find like a nice little red shirt for her though. Mm. Aww. She's adorable. That's awesome. Okay, go back and ride roller coaster, Ponyo. Here, I want you to have this. We gotta give her her interior and then we'll go and, uh, ooh, there we go. Speaking of her being sneezy, she gave me cold medicine. Let's do this and then we're gonna finish up with a song. Here you go, Ponyo, the seabed. Where you come from. You can live down there Thank with sharks. The new oh, let's it's take a look. Nice to it. We can actually like look at the sharks and stuff. Wanna take a look around. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. It's just kind of hanging out there, rubbing up against a rock. Everything's like frozen in time. So There's this a is shipwreck. my new interior. It's something else. Hmm, it is nice here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not your head. All right. A change of scenery is always nice. Hopefully she likes that. That, should, that was pretty expensive, so hopefully, yeah. That's a pretty decent happiness boost. Here, I want you to have this. Get another gift out of it. Please, thank you. I don't know if I... Did I feed Ponyo anything? Because she's already a little full. She's been finding her own food at the amusement park. <gasps> oh, jeez. Uh-oh. We were about to go, but Mario was looking for love. We got to do this first. Okay, is it Emma Watson, or...? I'm not sure what to do. Oh, no, Mario. Who are you in love with? What's going on? I have on? feelings for Peach. <gasps> I got to tell her. Oh my gosh, she actually has feelings for Peach. I'll help you, buddy. Oh my god, we gotta How set them up. I tell her? Peach is kind of with Poe, though. Uh, be romantic, I think. Because uh, we could have him give her a present. I think he should be romantic. She would like Where that, Where should right? I tell her? She's more of a laid-back gal, though. Let me see. Princess Peach at Peach's Beach? No. <laughs> In the concert hall? What if he goes to the concert hall and, and proposes with a song? I don't know if he'll... Should uh, I get changed first? Uh... Maybe. You don't have any other clothes. I guess he kind of just has to keep his tabby suit on. Tabby cat ears. Oh, we can actually take the cat ears on and off. I didn't know that. Okay, I think he's good. We'll keep him dressed up as a cat. There we go. <laughs> You're okay, good to go, buddy. Time to gather my courage and oh, no, this is gonna be intense. I feel like they don't have much of a relationship. I feel like she might reject him. Despite him saving her all these years. Just a man with a cat suit proposing to a princess. You make me feel like a star. Will you be my leading lady? <gasps> this is intense, guys. Cross your fingers. I don't know about this, Mario. Mario, she's in love with Poe, I think. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Rejection. I can't believe it. Oh, no. I should not have had him do that. He likes her, but they're not ready yet. She's just... Oh, no. He's so sad. We have to cheer Mario up. I don't have any tickets or anything, though, to give him. We gotta give him something good. Well, let's start with a bath. Clean yourself up, Mario. Pick it up <laughs> off the floor. That's the saddest. A, a big come. plumber dressed in a cat suit with rain cloud dripping over him trying to pick up a bath set. All right, hopefully that'll cheer him up a little bit. That'll help with the sadness. That was so refreshing. Oh, no. Mario, I feel so bad. Okay, do I have anything? What about some new clothes? He doesn't even like the clothes he has on, so let's get... The lumberjack clothes kind of look like they would fit Mario. They have the suspenders. 
Anything else that he would wear? Cyclist uniform, no. Safari. None of these really fit him. Let's do the let's do the lumberjack clothes. I think these will be good for now. He's had that cat suit on for so long. I think he's ready to change. There he goes. That looks better. Oh, he's a lot happier. He really likes it. Awesome. Okay. Oh, that did not help that much though. How about something good to eat, buddy? A panini? You want a panini, Mario? Eat it, eat it. <laughs> oh man, I really hope I can cheer him up. This is tough. Oh, he, oh look at his eyes. Ugh. He did not like paninis that much. I'm sorry, buddy. What else can we do? How about a music box? Will this help you? Soothe you? Thanks. I'm gonna listen to this right now. Do it, man. It'll cheer you up, or it'll be really sad. It's the island. Oh my gosh. It's so magical. This is actually, like, really sad, because he's just alone listening to a music box in his empty apartment. Okay, maybe we can give him a new interior. I'm just trying to do all this stuff for Such Mario. Such a relaxing melody. Doesn't it put you at ease? Yeah, I hope that helps you. There we go. I'm going to give him an interior. Anything? How about the arcade for Mario, you know? I feel like that fits him or enough. He, he came from the arcade originally. Let's give him this. I hope he likes it. Pick it up. <laughs> I keep dropping it on accident. Hopefully, we're almost enough to, uh... Thanks to... for the amazing new interior. Oh, he loves it, yes. It. We almost have him out of sadness. Wanna take a look? Let's look around real quick. There's a crane machine. Kind of looks like the one in Animal Crossing. Some type of racing thing. It's fun looking around other people's apartments, isn't it? Oh, no. Not when you're blocking the way with your big, rainy head. All right. <laughs> Let's go back. Uh... A change of scenery is always nice. <laughs> Especially when you're so depressed. Oh, yes. He's almost... He's almost over the edge. Let's give him something else. I... This will cure anyone's ails. Bacon. Here we go, Mario. Hopefully this will help him. Please? Okay, I hope that's enough. He liked it. The interior really helped, though, because he loved it so much. There he goes. He's over his sadness. I'm Dude. finally starting to feel better. I feel bad that I didn't help the party man that way, but, you know, I helped Mario out of it, and he got some cool new stuff. Yeah, I want you to have I think it. he's way better for it. You don't need Peach Man. You can find someone who loves you more. All right. Let's go do that song. <laughs> Please enjoy the ballad duet A Walk in the Woods by The Forest Friends. Life can be understood Just living in the woods With all my friends Help close near me With honey on your face and honey's here to change It's such a dream Come true But still Some just won't understand Why do they run? They always run Maybe we're just no fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Let me know which islanders should sing a song together, and I'll see you next time for more Tomodachi Life.